Hey guys, what's going on? Alex here. I watched the One Piece episode 771 yesterday. I know it came out on Saturday, but again, like I said in my Kingdom Life reaction review, I had food poisoning all, all day Saturday, and like I was planning on watching it Saturday night. That's all I wanted to do. But by the time it came around, I couldn't even get out of my bed. I was just like, I was like dying, and <laughs> I was dying. I just, I wasn't gonna enjoy the episode if I watched it. And One Piece, like as you guys know, it's like it's really important to me. It's, it has a close place in my heart. And that I really love enjoying the episodes, you know, it's like, and while I love doing the reviews, you know, it's like, I, I don't want to sacrifice anything, like one thing for another. So I still just want to enjoy my episodes. So I ended up watching it yesterday while I was doing my kingdom edits, you know, I was editing my videos, but I got a really good grasp on the episode as a whole. And I think that's going to lead to a better review. So I hope you guys enjoy and let's hop into this. So One Piece episode is 771, all right? I've been looking forward to this episode for a while. I really love the dynamic between Luffy and Momo, okay? Momo is one of my favorite characters in the One Piece storyline. Ever since he's been introduced in Punk Hazard, I've loved his character, I love his design, I love his personality, his lines, his voice actor, everything about him, you know, the, the palette that he's drawn in that beautiful pink shade. I love his kimono, I love, I love his power, this dragon devil fruit power. I've, I just think he's such a cool character and I've known from the very beginning that he was much more important than how Oda was making us perceive him to be. I don't know. I, th I, I definitely knew that he was going to have more importance in the storyline than Oda was making it seem. In the last episode, we found out that Odin was his fucking father and Odin was like the leader, like the head of the Kozuki clan. And as we know, the Kozuki clan were the ones that created the Poneglyphs. But but Momo never got to learn that like, the, the traits, the the skills, the, the ability to make the point of this was never passed down correctly to Momo because Odin was killed off at too young of an age. Momo didn't even have a chance to learn. And we also find out this episode that Kaido killed his mother. So Kaido just killed his mother and his father. And like, I, I'm a manga reader, so I, I know how Odin died, but it's like we haven't even gotten into that in the manga, and, and I mean, in the anime. And that just adds a whole other layer of fuckery to this <laughs> situation, honestly. So while I was really looking forward to this episode, there were some things that I kind of like threw me off a little, you know, it's not that it threw me off, I was kind of half expecting it because it's One Piece and a lot of the episodes are a little dragged out a little long. There are some scenes with like gag comedy that I don't think really needed like to be there with like Nami slapping Luffy. I, I don't really recall if every single one of like the gag funny scenes was in the manga maybe it was and the, the manga just pulled it off better i'm not really complaining i'm just making some observations but i thought some of the scenes could have been handled a little more serious because it's such a it's such an important scene between luffy and momo when momo luffy the entire time that conjugal kinemon and Rizo, the entire time that they're like explaining themselves like luffy like we need your help we want to take down we want to take down kaido we need to avenge the shogun we were supposed to protect him and he ended up protecting us and letting us get away and that entire scene like luffy was holding like nami back like like like, like no like, like like don't fucking say anything because momo was sitting there crying the entire time which is very important they, they definitely made fact of that and by the time kanjiro finishes and he asks luffy for his help he's like please help us defeat Kaido Luffy, Luffy Domo and he's like I refuse and everyone's like what and that's when everyone starts like freaking out a little bit and like the crew starts to like like yo that's your sensho that's your captain like don't be disrespecting your captain all right you made a fucking decision you gotta fucking back it all right Usopp <laughs> <laughs> but no he said that for a reason he wanted he wanted some closure from Momo he wanted Momo to step up a little bit and be a little bit of a man because Momo is the head of everyone there He's the head of the Kozuki clan. He's the big wig. And he's still a little kid. Yes, he's eight years old, but Luffy recognizes his potential and he recognizes him as a man and as a fucking ally. And he, and he basically told him like, step up, Momo. Like, 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 what is it you want, you know? Like, are you just gonna sit here and cry the entire time? And this is probably what I'm gonna use in my thumbnail. There's a really, really great scene of Momo just slowly walking to Luffy, which was a little dragged out, but you know, I, I want One Piece to drag it out, to be dragged out, you know, like, <laughs> I need something to live for, so I want One Piece to go on as long as possible. But there's this really great scene of Momo walking up to Luffy and he's clenching his fist and when he gets up to Luffy, you know, it's like, he's just, there's like this little panel, there's like this panel of Luffy like towering over Momo. And Luffy doesn't really tower over anyone, you know, he's pretty short. 
but Momo is getting like these recollections of like him running around Wano in this big fire. It's dark. It's 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 really cool. And and there's this scene where he's standing below Kaido, and Kaido is just massive. I don't know which which one I'm gonna use in my thumbnail. There's a bunch of really cool scenes, but it's kind of terrifying. Like Kaido's eyes, Kaido's design. He's just a he's just brolic. He's a brolic motherfucker, and Momo is scared shitless of this guy. This guy killed his entire family. This guy destroyed Wano, took over Wano. The new Shogun is fucking working with Kaido and it's all fucking corrupted, just like the fucking world government. This, con this country's closed off. And we find out that the goal for, or that Oda and Sama's last words were to open up Wano. That he wanted Wano to open its doors, open its gate to the worlds, become an open country that interacts and is involved with the world government and with the politics and with the society. They want to be involved or that, that's what Odin Sama's dream was. And for some reason, they're staying closed off. I'm sure it has something to do with the world government and stupid ass politics or something of the sorts. I don't know, what do you guys think? But yeah, I really love that scene with Momo and Luffy. And he basically, it's like, it's like his voice actor did a really good job too, you know, really pulling off and he's like, Luffy, I want to take down Kaido, you know, as I say, I, you can feel like the passion in his voice. You can just feel it, like, like the pain. And it's like, I feel bad for him. You know, I feel bad for Momo. He doesn't deserve this shit. And he, and he said that he, in this episode that he wants to become stronger. And I'm really looking forward to Momo, like becoming stronger. He has a really cool devil fruit. And I think he'd be a really good asset to the Straw Hat Alliance. Speaking of alliances, we started the Straw Hat Samurai Mink Alliance this weekend, which is great. It's a fucking canon now. It's crazy, man. Basically, the alliance is gonna go to Wano, and this after this is gonna be after the whole Kick Island arc with Sanji. But we're gonna go to Wano and we're gonna try and take down Kaido. So much is gonna transpire in between then to like change your mind and give you an idea of what's gonna happen in the future. But it's honestly, it, it's it's just it's gonna be so much. One Piece this year, two thousand seventeen. One Piece is gonna be lit. We also find out that Kanjiro, Kinemon, and Raizo, they were like the retainers for Odin. They were like his protectors and they took care of Momo and this and that. And we find out that Doflamingo and Kaido and all these people are after, they were after Kanjiro and Kinemon and Raizo because of the Poneglyphs. Because the Poneglyphs, they hold the secrets to the history, to the 100 year void. They know exactly what happens. And they're not even taking a chance with Kinemon and Kanjiro. It's like they think that they understand what's on the Poneglyphs, so they're trying to take them down. No, no questions asked. But Kanjiro and Kinemon, they don't even read, they can't even read the Poneglyphs for what we know. They could be lying to us, Oda could be lying to us, and like later on we can get a revelation that they can actually read them or that they actually know. But I mean, if that was the case, I feel like they would have read the red Poneglyph, I mean the road Poneglyph. But we find out that they don't know anyways, and they're still getting hunted down. And that's the reason Doflamingo and Kaido in particular are after them. And I'm sure the Gorosei and the world government are after them as well. Anyone involved with the Poneglyphs, anyone involved with the Hundred Year Void, like, is eradicated. We saw what happened on Ohara. That was fucking crazy. But honestly, even though there was a little bit of a pacing issues here and there, which is normal, and there was like <clears throat> a few gag bits that I didn't think were that funny, most of it was hilarious, and I felt like the, revela the revelations and the resolution to this chapter with Momo and Luffy shaking hands and finally affirming that alliance i thought it was really well done and the last ending panel was really good with everyone like chilling i'm really looking forward to whole cake island guys oh this last part of zo if you're not a manga reader and you're just an anime only watcher this last part of zo is going to be really good we're going to have like a little last like a final act kind of for this arc it's going to be really cool we're going to get to see a certain someone by the name of jack Again, sometime soon, we're gonna get to see some dope ass shit. So I'm excited to see the ending of Zo, the wrap up, and the push over into a fucking Whole Cake Island because Whole Cake Island is gonna be awesome. I wanna see Saji, my boy Saji. I wanna see Saji again, all right? But yeah, guys, what did you think of this episode? Did you think it was good? Did you have issues with the pacing like I did? I mean, I honestly didn't even have that many issues. I enjoyed this episode. I shed a few tears. I shedded, is it shed? I shed a few tears when Momo was getting some closure with Luffy when he was finally coming clean with everything about Kaido. I love Luffy's personality like that, you know? It's like he's stupid all the time, but underneath all that stupidity and funniness, funniness isn't even a word. He 
he's extremely witty and he, he's smart. He knows people, he knows personalities and stuff and he knows how to deal with situations. It's, ex it's an extremely cool dynamic to have for a character. But that's, that's it, I'm done venting, I'm done talking. What did you guys think of the chapter? Did you like it? Let me know what you thought in the comment section below. Like, subscribe guys, check out my other reviews and reactions and I will see you all later, all right? Peace out.